welcome to the hit wave yet another exciting episode thank you so much for joining me and appreciate the support don't forget to subscribe to actually catch subsequent shows of this one my name is charlie welcoming you and today's guest is one of zambia's best female artists she's actually the only artist with the most views on youtube here in the country her new single taken just got released and she's right here on the show ladies and gentlemen kate figo how are you hi hi how are you doing? I'm good. Good to have you on the show. I'm glad to be here again. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on your new song. Beautiful, amazing video, man. Absolutely great. Thank you. Yeah. Let's talk about the, the, the cover art. What was the inspiration be behind that? People have been talking about that. <laughs> what was the inspiration behind that, though? We get that out the way. That's not even the cover art. Yeah. Uh, somebody released that picture. I'm not the one who did that picture. Yeah. I just saw, like, I uh, was supposed to release the song on Friday. Mm-hmm. Then uh, people started calling me. There's this picture which is trending on Facebook. People are sharing it here and there. They sent the picture to me. So that wasn't part of the song? No, it wasn't. Oh. Yeah. People can be shady these days. I know, right? It's crazy. I know. How did you receive the news? They're like, well, what was your reaction when you saw that? I was, uh, I laughed, but I knew I was going to be judged. Yeah. Because uh, Zambians don't believe. Even if you tell them, you're not the one who, you're not the one who did that, yeah. they'll still say, so no, that's not really no. you on the picture? My, that's my face. Wow. There's Photoshop. So they did what they did to the picture. Yes. I don't know how. Wow. Yeah. That's really crazy. That's really crazy. It is. Anyway, let's get back to the um, music of things. You have been quiet for quite some time. I and know. now I know you are back and you ain't playing. I hear there's an album coming um, up next, uh, next year. Coming next up. Next year. Something that we need to look out for. So now let's talk about you going quiet. What happened? Where were you? What were you up to? I was around, I was watching what was happening in the industry, yeah. and sometimes it's good to sit back, relax, and watch what is happening. You learn something, things, of course, that I didn't know mm -hmm. about the industry, because, you know, the time I just came in as Kay Figo, things just happened so fast, yeah. such that there were certain things I didn't understand about the industry. Is it? So this time I've taken, I've learned quite a lot. Yeah, there were certain mistakes I made before, which I can never make again. Right. Yes, which means I've learned, I've matured in the industry. Yeah. Great. So I was just quite looking, seeing what's happening, giving chance to the newcomers. Yeah. Yeah. So I said, no, nah, enough is, is enough. Let me get back to my business. It, it was quite overwhelming. We're actually, you are actually one of the busiest female artists in the country. You never used to rest. <laughs> I so know. I think you deserve the break, just pulling back a little bit exactly. to just uh, watch the industry and, and, and take yeah. a breather. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, from right. the time that you actually took a break, and w what has changed now in terms of your music? Um, the way I handle myself when I, when I hear negative comments. Right. When I just started, I used to, I used to argue with so many people. On social media, I used to follow. I that. used to I used respond to <laughs> like, in, hey. somebody replies, "You are there." I tell Hits you, you hit back. I tell you, but this time, no, that is not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, I've changed. I'll just look at it and laugh and say, "Okay, if people are spelling my name right, then I'm there." Then that's it. Because, you know, uh, people on social media tend to, when you respond, they feel good because they've, them, they've achieved <laughs> exactly, what they wanted. Exactly. And you keep being, you know, being And the best thing I've that. learned as well, yeah. I don't read comments. You don't? I'll just post something. I will not read comments. Because I know, even if you post something good, people still talk bad. Are you a person that will read a very bad comment and your whole day is ruined? Exactly. That's why I don't read them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I, I thought maybe you're just one of those people that you just read a comment, just like, oh, yeah, whatever. No, I get friends. So that's why I decided it. I think it's not right. I even told my sisters, because my sisters take the fight in their hands. Yeah. I told them, please, if you see something on social media, just don't even go there. Don't even tell me about it. Why do you think uh, uh, the public is so hateful to people in, in, in the limelight, like yourself, like on social media? They just always want to throw shade. Mostly it's women. Women are too jealous. It's just in us. We were born like that. Mm -hmm. You see a fellow woman doing something, you get hurt. You say, in your heart, you say, why is she doing this? I wish it was me. Yeah. But men, men, I think men are a bit genuine. Yeah. Yeah. Men are cool. We are genuine, not a That's bit genuine. That's why I prefer Njangala <laughs> Fenaba <laughs> Ome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome stuff. <laughs> All right. Awesome stuff. So now, uh, this, is, this is one thing I've never asked you. Like, um, mm. your first album was absolutely amazing i think almost all the songs in there were like hit thank hit you songs and one of the people that was actually instrumental in temp making sure that you bring out great music was pj yeah do you miss him do i do it do you miss him ah, 
a lot. I miss him a lot. Every day I wish PJ was alive. It's not only about music, chilling, laughing. Yeah. Uh, what sort of relationship did you guys uh, kind of have? We were friends. We yeah. were friends. We could, we could meet even when we were not recording. Could come home. I could go to his place. His mom knew me, his sisters, brothers. We used to get along so very well, more than any other artist in the, in the country. Yeah. Yeah, I miss him. I terribly miss him. Yeah. yeah, he sort of molded you in a certain way in which you were writing your songs. Mm -hmm. So now that he is no more, do you th do you feel like your touch has sort of changed to uh, my touch? Something my touch can change a bit, but um, not really because uh, there were certain songs that PJ never wrote. Yeah, a song like Kanyelele, it's not PJ who wrote it. Right, uh, Kazimia Foni, it's not PJ who wrote. So I think I was I was very free working with PJ. That's why after PJ died. I became, anyway, I can just say it was like a bit of depression. Mm -hmm. Because uh, that was a person I could always go to say, I have this idea, can you help me? Can you do this? Like, after PJ died, there's no one that I can call can do that. Wow. Unless I pay them. Wow. So PJ could always come, he could always come, he could always be there for me. So that's why after PJ died, I was a bit depressed. A bit, mm -hmm. yeah. But I got over it. Yeah, mm. the music industry has evolved a little bit from from say the time that you you guys started mm -hmm. to now. Uh, what do you feel is um, the difference between now and then? Then and now, okay. Um, I think things are moving. The industry is getting there, but the jealousy and um, <laughs> the on my own attitudes yeah. will never change within the artists or just within the artists. Mm -hmm. Because everyone wants to be bigger than the other. Yeah. So that's why we don't find uh, supporting each other yeah. regularly. Like the way Nigerians do. You post something on Instagram, your fellow artists will come. They'll be the first ones to like. Yeah. Then the fans start coming. Yeah. But here in Zambia, it's very difficult. They'll just watch your post and pass it. Do you, do you like other artists' posts and comment? On I do. I do. Right. But <laughs> 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 I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> It comes when you see it coming to you. Yeah. You can't just keep doing that if somebody's not doing it to you. Right. So I do. I do it to the people that do it to me as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe the change could start with bit by bit. You and me, you comment on mine, I comment <laughs> on yours. I, I give up so fast. You know? if, I, <laughs> if I comment twice, then somebody's not commenting on mine. I said, yes, please. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way it is. Yeah. You, mm. you, you have been called all sorts of names uh, because of your performances and the way you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, for people that know you from the other side, other than music, mm -hmm. uh, would say that there's two different people. Yeah. The one that we see as uh, K Figo <laughs> on stage and the one we know at home. Mm -hmm. How are you able to draw the line between the two and make people understand, like, oh, this is work? And this is me at home. Like, first thing first, however they've considered me has been the main reason why I've made that name in Zambia. Wow. If I was not like that, yeah. so that I appreciate and they should continue thinking like that about me. Yes. I'll never change. I promise them I'll continue <laughs> being the same. That if I good. want to drink, as I'm going on stage, I will drink and nobody will tell me anything. Because yeah. it's me. That's what I want. Yeah. Yes. So w when you're at home, you, you're just like everybody else, like you do dishes. I don't know if I take here, I, I papa my baby, I mm -hmm. do everything. Yeah. I'm just a normal person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that, that's really great. <laughs> Be, uh, has being a mother changed anything in terms of a work, work ethic somehow? It has. Like, uh, firstly, I've stopped fighting. I yeah. used to fight a lot before I had that child. Physical Be or just? Physical. Wow. Yes. You've beaten a couple men, obviously. Mm, not men. <laughs> I used to slap, only slaps. Yeah. But I've changed. I don't do that anymore. It can just take me to jail and leave my child suffering. So all those things have changed. I've uh, realized certain things I'm not supposed to do as a mother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when it comes to music, people should not include my child to say, hey, you have a child. Don't do this. That's what puts food on my table. Yes. Yes. And my child will get to understand that. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Would you love your child to do music as well? Uh, no. But if she wants, she will do it. I will not stop her. But I wouldn't want because wouldn't. it's a hell of a thing. Yeah. We go through a lot. She comes back from school with the promo city. Say, Mom, here. <laughs> I can laugh and cry at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> and she what? sings. Eh? Is it? Ah? So you see, it's she coming She loves Judeo songs. Huh? Wow. Hey, 
time. She's one year eight, but she sings. Okay, you see it coming, so you got to prepare for that, I think. Uh, I know, I <laughs> what, what are some of the things that would make you not want her to get into the industry? Uh, the advantage that uh, we've, uh, the advantage that people uh, like uh, anyway, we've gone through a lot. Like me personally, yeah. as a female artist in Zambia, I've gone through a lot. Uh, firstly, I've been judged for things that people don't even understand. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you wouldn't even want to explain anything because yeah. people have already come up with their own uh, uh, whatever uh, opinion. Yeah. So uh, for my daughter, I wouldn't want her to suffer like that. Because there were times that people said bad things about me that I never liked. I used to cry way back. This time, I don't. So, as long as I'm alive, I would not see my daughter cry for something that people are saying about her. Yeah. I'll fight that fight for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, here's the thing uh, with, with Zambia music right now. Uh, the fact that um, there are certain artists that would uh, associate themselves with certain artists. Like, there's camps now. Do you feel you are in camp as well, or you just oh, camps, go along huh? with? Uh, I didn't know. I was guessing. Oh, but now that you've told me, I think I've I've realized. Mm. I'm not in any camp. There are just certain artists that I get along with. Okay, I think from each camp, there's one or two artists that I get along with. <laughs> <laughs> so you you make the subset. Yes, I'm mm -hmm. everywhere. So yeah. I don't need to be in a camp because I believe I'm supposed to get along with anybody and work with anybody. Yeah. So if there are camps, I'm sorry, I'm not one of you. I just get along with anybody that I connect with. Yeah. Yeah. You've traveled the world. You've, you've done great, great shows and uh, great collaborations and stuff. What stands out as the most memorable stage performance for you to date? Uh, quite a number, but uh, Mauritius. Yeah. Why Mauritius? The first show that I had in Mauritius, there was no Zambian in the audience and the tickets were sold out. Wow. It was packed full. They came to see the Kanyelele girl. Wow. I the song was big then, that's it. Yes. Whoa. It was too big. And then um, the, just the feeling when I stepped on the stage, people were screaming. I just said hi to him. Uh, to them, they were like, so there was a difference with the Zambian audience. Sometimes, sometimes they're like, yeah, hi. just looking at the shoes you're yeah. wearing. Hi, but that side, <laughs> they never even saw what I wore. They, they just heard my voice. Yeah. Hey, hey what's up? They scream. Hey. I was, I wanted to cry. I was like, wow, this is nice. I'll never forget that. Awesome. Yeah. You did a collab with uh, an artist from there. Was that, was that, was that you or is just one remix that because I think that was great No, as well. I did. And yeah. we, we shot a video. There, yes, yes. By the beach side, yeah. The, there are quite a number of good artists there. Mm -hmm. And so they they said we wanted to we want to do a remix of Kanye Lele and the video. I said let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All so right. we did that. Awesome. So um, moving forward, uh, let's talk about your album. To, uh, come 2019, you mm. you're working on an album. Tell us a bit more about that. Um. Yes, I'm working on an album. I recently did a song called Mukati. The video is coming out soon after the the recent one. Yeah. Uh, the taken one. Right. So it's coming out. I have a couple of songs that I want to shoot videos for. They are coming out before I do an album. I think I'm going to do an album of 10 songs. 10 yeah, songs? I do 10, yeah. yeah. 10 is enough for me. Okay, mm. that's great. So that, this is going to be what? Second, third? Just second. Second Imagine. album. Imagine. <laughs> second album. Feels like you've been around for too long. Yeah. yeah you, I've done quite a number of singles. Yeah, but singles are also nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of Zambian artists are saying CDs are not being bought now, so I won't do an I album. Tell you, we I'm, make I'm money just, through shows. Yeah. Once you have a hit song, then shows will start coming like hotcakes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I've, I've I've always wondered uh, on that when an artist doesn't have a hit song, and mm -hmm. have you ever hit that moment where there's no hit song, um, you don't have shows no more, and all of that? Um, I can't lie. Uh, it's been a while that I did a hit song, yeah. but I've never stopped having shows, but obviously not as much as I used to have them. Right. I still have them because of my name, I believe. Yeah. So uh, people will call you because they still remember you as Kay Figo mm -hmm. and what you have done in yeah. the past. So it's good to make a name in Zambia. So that's why I say there's no bad publicity, there's no good publicity. Yeah. Everything is good as long as you're making your name. Yeah. So once you make your name, even when you don't have a hit song, people will still call you for shows. 
Right. Yeah. So I've never slept angry. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Bread and butter always keep flowing. <laughs> exactly. That is good. And congratulations. You are the most viewed artist on YouTube. Zambian artist. Congratulations. That's a big deal right there. Yeah. yeah. Deserves a toss. How, how does that make you feel though? <sighs> mm, I feel so... I feel like I have muscles, you know. <laughs> anyway, right. that's a joke. But I feel so happy. Uh, it's not easy. There are so many good artists in Zambia. And uh, better than me, yeah. actually. But uh, for me to have those views, it really gives me the goosebumps to say, oh my God. So it's me, the Walia girl. Right. <laughs> it makes me happy, actually. Overwhelming. That is awesome. I'm yeah. so proud of you when I actually realized that. That was, that was totally awesome. Yeah. So amongst, amongst um, the, the Zambian artists, which ones are we seeing on your new album and probably in a few singles to come? Um, quite a number of them. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been just thinking. I haven't like uh, come to a final decision. Yeah. But I've been thinking, Chef, he could be one of them. Uh, Milam so that's lap D and Mark too. Yes. Yes. And now uh, else could even do something with clear ice cream. Right. Yeah. Sounds like a, a pact. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I haven't come to a conclusion, but uh, those are the people that I'm thinking about and there are still more to come. Yeah. I've just mentioned those. Yeah. Okay. So don't feel left out. huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll still come you might just get a call you. on your album. On her album. <laughs> so you better look out for that. Yeah. What's what's what, what's like the craziest rumor you've heard about? yourself the rumor yeah you the ru a lot yeah quite a lot that um that i'm a satanist whoa <laughs> even that yes i'm a satanist that um what else um i'm dating married men just crazy crazy stuff but uh that doesn't even get me at all because yeah. it, this is zambia for you so sometimes just look at them and just laugh you just laugh like, yeah. i even have a car chan chan yunko yeah, yeah you know what i'm talking about a car green <laughs> bottle i even laugh and watch tv yes oh man that's absolutely <laughs> great all right so now um let's let's see the new video the new video is called tekken and it's showing mm -hmm. for the first time what's the story behind this, the song um just telling people to be faithful to their partners. Yeah. So you have a boyfriend, you have a husband, you're not supposed to have another boyfriend outside your marriage. Yeah. Yes, or your relationship. Hear that? So be careful, huh? Let's check out Taken from K Figo. We'll be right back on the other side. This is the hit wave. Looking at me, you biting your lips, you winking at me. Daddy, please. You look like a playboy, looking for a sexy toy. In a no no, maybe try next door. Ufu no ponya story, but it's sorry. I am a do your melee chap one no one got sorry. Sorry, I am doing sorry. I don't play no more. I don't play no more. Maybe try next, no no one sorry. I'm so taken that in the name of God, the one we need. Nilanga nebu no iwe. Nilanga nebu no iwe. We know you better be careful, careful, uh, careful. 
bueno y we ni cambi se bueno y we you gotta be careful, careful, ah, uh, careful. Ni tane bueno y we ni cambi se bueno y we. Bona gata gata, ay bona, boni conca conca, ay bona. Si chindi que ni daddy, si chindi que ni daddy. Nilangane buino iwe, nilangane buino iwe And I'm not faking, ine ndine katundu ya mwine Nilangane buino iwe, nilangane buino iwe You gotta be careful, careful, ah, uh, careful Nitane buino iwe, nikambise buino iwe You gotta be careful, careful, ah, uh, careful I discover. Download, listen, and upload the music on the radio app. All right, so that's our new video. It's called Tekken, just came out, man. Fresh new, out of the studio. And this is a song that was released um, just a few hours after that famous picture that came out. Yeah. When you saw that picture, what came into your mind, first of all? Because it got people talking, like... I was like, oh my gosh, who has done this? And I was like, but you know what? Anyway, I know people will talk, they'll judge me, they'll do whatever they want. But I can use this to my advantage because tomorrow, Friday, I'm supposed to release my new song and video. So yeah. can I use this one? So I got one of the pictures that people were sending to me to say, look at this, is this you? Yeah. I got one of the pictures and I put letters there on the legs yeah. to say, Tekken is out now. Right. So I even wrote on Facebook when I posted the picture, I said I was supposed to release the song tomorrow, but due to popular demand, it's coming out today. Yes. I changed my mind after I saw those pictures. Right. So I only used it to my advantage, not that I was supporting. Yeah. So mm. to, to have a, a doctor that picture, do you feel like you're going to look for them? Like, why would you do such a thing? I would want to, but again, if I look at that picture, it didn't show any nakedness. Yeah. or something people are trying to zoom it they can't see anything yeah. so that's why i decided to use it by where the, the part where it was like too open yeah. that's why i put the words yeah. because for me i didn't want to post such a picture on my page right. that's why i put words there yeah. yeah if i wanted to post that picture if it was me i would have posted it a long time Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So what would, what do you think somebody would do such a, a horrendous thing to, because you, to the, your image? Yes. Let me tell you something. Like what happened was uh, a few hours before, I posted uh, similar pictures mm -hmm. the, where, where, when I was dressed in the same attire, yeah. but I was standing. Yes. So there were certain people that were getting those same pictures. They started judging me. They said, Kefigo, the mother to a princess, has become useless. And that picture was was okay there was nothing wrong with it but they judged me still so i think those are the same people that can still do that to that picture to now make people start talking badly about me right yeah so do you, do you feel that has uh, sort of uh, downgraded your image or it has worked to your advantage in terms of releasing for me i think it has worked to my advantage because even the people that never knew k figo they have known me now yeah yes but uh people should not be doing that that's not good absolutely mm -hmm. it's all not right. good at all because uh, they have done the photoshopping before for another artist. It wasn't good. So mm. now they have done it to me. So what next are they going to do now? Yeah. Yeah. Did it give you a sleepless night or it was just like one of those things like, okay, whatever? Um, it did somehow a bit because people were calling me. Mm -hmm. I wish I switched off my phone because people were calling me. No, people are talking. People are saying this. I was like, oh. What is this now again? I've been through that kind of situation before. Yeah. But I said, anyway, this is not going to put me down. I'm releasing a new song. I have to work on this song. Let me just go with the flow. 
Absolutely. So that's how I went with the flow. Great yeah. stuff. You have a great following on social media. Your words to your fans as we wrap it up? Um, my fans, for being there for me, supporting me, I know about that picture. You're always responding on my behalf. Thank you so much. I love you and I will never stop appreciating. Continue supporting my music and always be there for me, even when I'm not there myself. Mwah. One love. Okay, Figo. Keep shining. And thank you so much for coming thank on the show. Thank you for having me, Charlie. Appreciate I'm so you. glad to be here. This is a very nice place. Great. I'll paint my house like this. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for watching the show. And don't forget, you can catch this show in case you missed it on YouTube. That's simply subscribe to QTV Zambia and you'll be able to catch that. I've been Charlie. You've been awesome. Till next time, it's Bye-bye.